Hi and welcome to this section of the Advanced Algebra Tutor and in this section we're going to focus on quadratic equations uh, and more specifically we're going to talk in very great detail about how to sketch graphs of quadratic equations how to look at the uh, formula for a quadratic equation pull the information that you need out of there to sketch it and uh, to find the vertex you know where that that point is and all that and we'll talk about this stuff here so first I want to have you recall something that you may or may not know uh, and that is recall the polynomial okay okay recall the polynomial the polynomial in general is a big nasty looking uh, expression that looks like this and I'm gonna write it out in all of its glory because uh, I, I wanna break down the barriers for you <clears throat> when you see these in your books a lot of times you you just your eyes glaze over let me, let me explain what it is what you see is something like this okay okay this is generally what you see this is what's called a polynomial okay uh, it's an ugly looking expression because it's full of letters and you have n's and n minus ones and x's and a sub n's and everything <clears throat> all this is trying to say is that uh, it's a general form okay it's a general form so look at the end here you have a number the a's here are just numbers one two three whatever x is your variable and then of course you have your x squares well notice here you have a number and then you have a number times x and then you have a number times x squared so this part of it is just you've seen these all the time three x squared plus two x plus four this is is a polynomial of degree two we say that the degree of the polynomial is the highest power in the uh... in the polynomial okay so what does all this other business mean? All this means is that you can make an, an incredibly long, infinitely complicated expression. You could have plus uh, 4x to the third, plus 12x to the fourth, plus 59x to the you know, uh, 16th. I mean, you can go as, as, high, uh, as high a power of x as you can. And in each case, the highest power of x is going to be the degree of this entire polynomial. So this is a general form basically saying that anything that can be written in this form with a number times a power of x plus a number times a power of x plus a number times a power of x uh, and so on and so on and you see here n would be your highest power of x and then you'd have n minus 1 so you'd have 6, x to the 16th, x to the 15th, x to the 14th, 13th, 12th and so on so what it's saying is it's a general form expressing what you already know which is that you can write uh, long complicated expressions like that so that is what the formula means and that's just a general form of a polynomial okay the degree of the polynomial is the highest power uh, we already talked about that the highest power uh, now let me let me explain something to you if uh, n is zero so we have a degree zero okay here so that basically means that uh, there are no, you know, the highest power in the thing is x to the zero power. Then that means that uh, f of x is just simply equal to a, okay, or a a naught here. Because if n is equal to zero, then there are no powers of x at all up here. Because n n being the degree here, where n is the degree of the polynomial. Okay, so like I said before, if the degree is 2, then you have your standard looking uh, polynomial you've seen all the time. But if your degree is 0, what it means is x to the 0 is the highest power in the whole 